G'day legends, I hope you're all awesome. On today's video, we've got the Hudson Broadcast on the bench. I wanna know if this is great or if it's garbage. Part of this long running series where I basically try pedals I've never tried before. I plug them in and just have a blast through my rig. This one, as far as I know, is essentially like a kind of console channel strip in a pedal. I haven't really watched a lot of clips about this pedal leading up to this. I've just seen Hudson Broadcast mentioned a lot of different times on forums when people are talking about cool boosts. So big thank you to my buddy Murray for loaning me this and a bunch of other really fun pedals that you're going to see and hear on the channel very soon. For now, let's jump straight in. Let's get started. I've got this Fender Buddy Guy Strat with gold lace sensors going into the broadcast, going into a Synergy 800 module. The gain on the 800 module is at around 9 o'clock. The brat cap is off and it's going into a Syn 5050 power amp, my usual Marshall 1960 TV with an SM57 on it off axis. This is the starting point. <laughs> Initial impressions, there's a lot of gain on tap there, especially with that switch on the right. The interplay between the gain trim, the three-way switch, and the level control is interesting there as well. And the low cut is really, really handy. Let's go back to that high gain mode. I'm going to absolutely slam the level and the gain trim. And with the low cut all the way down, it's pushing into kind of fuzz territory. As you bring it up, it's massively cleaning up that low end and bringing back some sparkle. Neck pickup. <laughs>
love the volume control cleanup right there as well. But that kind of lower gain enhancer thing, gorgeous. Really enjoyable to play. The kind of touch response on there is awesome with lots and lots of gain. It's also heinously filthy, which I really, really like on there. The low cut control is such a simple way to uh, kind of fine tune this to the amp that you are using. Let's hear it with humbuckers now. Same settings on the Synergy module. I've just switched the bright cap on. Here's the starting point. <laughs> Switch to the right on there with the gain cranked is ridiculous. You'll also note the kind of interaction between the level and the gain trim. With the level low enough, it's not really saturating the front end of the amp and you get this kind of, you know, lo-fi fuzz style thing. As you get the level up into that sweet spot, it just kicks the front end of the amp so much harder, thickens it all up. It's pretty amazing. Let's see how much gain I can get out of this and if I can kind of take this, uh, you know, lower gain crunch sound with the Les Paul into full on kind of chug territory. Let's begin. <laughs> Loving how hard this is kicking that 800 module. What a glorious tone. Let's try it with my PRS in drop C. Same settings on the module. The low cut control here is amazing for tightening things up. And then I'm kind of hearing the left position is a little 
clearer and like less insane in terms of overall output. So I'll stay there. I'll let you hear all three modes though. Let's just hear the PRS first. <laughs> stumps there with the broadcast this is amazing i have enjoyed every second i have played through this pedal whether it's using it as like a subtle enhancer on top of your core tone or whether it's pushing it to the absolute limits those three controls on there are so interactive and satisfying to play with you can either use it to just pummel as much gain as you'd ever need into your app or in this case you know pre-app and power app or you can use it to just give you more of what you already have and what you already like about your guitar tone. I can see why people rave about this particular pedal. And if you're looking for something that's not a Tube Screamer derivative and has a pretty unique voice, this might be the pedal to look out for you. Again, thank you to my buddy Murray for loaning me this. I'll play you all out with more utter filth. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you like what I'm doing here on the channel, check the video description. There's links there to support what I am doing. Uh, have a great day. See you next time.